Volunteers 21. 11 carries and two touchdowns. And the Volunteers will take possession of it first to begin half number two. Well, Jim, the Texans at halftime last week against Arlington High, 20 to seven. And this one carries through and will come out to the 20. Yeah, John, and held on to win that game last week by the score of 33 to 27. So there is a glimmer of hope for Bowie. But frankly, as we talked about in the first half, I think this volunteer team offensively needs to open up a little bit. Give quarterback Kenny Mattner the opportunity to try to throw the ball down the field and make something happen. There have been eight shutouts in this series and the Texans have all eight of them. From the 20 yard line. And this is Pryor. Leonard Pryor rips off seven yards. Last year's score here at Maverick Stadium, Bowie 20, Sam Houston 18. Two years ago, the two teams tied over at Wildman 21-21. Wes Owenby comes out, number 82, on second and three. Musgrove is a running back, and here is Mario Musgrove, and runs right into number 99, D. Drake. From his defensive end position, just got around the block of the right tackle, and it was easy. 225-pound senior D. Drake. So it brings up third and three. Again, the Volunteers only have one first down. They're averaging six points a game. They were shut out two weeks ago by Martin, 28-0. And Pryor stood up by Tito Medina, number 43, and it's fourth down. And in that series, the Texan defensive line is really exploiting the weakness of, uh, of Bowie's offensive line. And this will be the sixth punt for Aaron Wall. It hits at midfield, goes inside the 45, and the market out of bounds at about the 43 yard line. A 30 yard punt for Aaron Wald in the first possession in the second half for Sam Houston. Texans came in averaging 125 yards of rushing and they have 150 in the first half. BK Bird and Rod Taylor wide right from the spread formation. Number seven, Brandon Hassel. And a loss of yards as Mitchell taken down by number nine, Nathan Horton. Or was it DeAndre Carey? DeAndre Carey, the freshman. DeAndre Carey at 6'1 and 180. And he met him in the backfield and threw him down for a four yard loss. Carey, the right defensive end. Eye formation this time. On the 40 yard line. Hassel rolls out, locks, loads, throws and has his men at the 46 yard line. That's Mark Clayton. A free play and Hassel capitalized. Clayton with a nice out route. Had one more on the defense. That's near a first down and a penalty marker back at the line of scrimmage. The volunteers may have been offsides. There was motion in both lines. Nice tight spiral to number six, Mark Clayton. And they're gonna bring it back to the line of scrimmage. Apparently, the option yeah. resting with Bowie. Yeah, five pre, no, no, five, yeah, previous spot. Procedure on Sam Houston. And that puts Sam Houston now at 25 yards of penalties. 
and see uh, who might have moved, John, as you look at Mike Stovall there. But looked like Hassel leaned back and was changing the play at the line of scrimmage. Could have very well done that. And again, they'll operate out of the eye formation. Hassel rolls out, pumps once, hanging it out wide open, and a little beyond at the 25 yard line. Number six, Mark Clayton. Nice play up, out, and up. And Edwin Moore bit on the out move. And Hassel just overthrowing the 160 pound junior there, Mark Clayton. Hassel completing almost 50% of his passes coming into this game. Tonight, one of six and still minus yardage, minus five yards in passing for Sam. Last week, they got 139 on the Arlington defense. Two weeks ago, 109 on DeSoto. And another penalty against Sam Houston. And John, we talked about it at the top of this game that penalties seem to plague the Texans this year. Over 50 yards in penalties this season and one of the most penalized teams in the district year in and year out and another costly one here. That puts the ball at the 21 yard line. It's second and 33. Inside handoff and nothing going. Runs into the left side of the buoy defense. Shardanya Mitchell. Texans have to get all the way to the volunteer 47 yard line. Sam has had two long runs in successive weeks. 66 yards last week against Arlington by Mitchell and tonight 74 by Alex Martinez. Third and 34 from the 20. Hassel drops back, goes right sideline deep and broken up at the 40 yard line. That pass underthrown, intended for number 33, Rod Taylor. LeGrand and Flood in the coverage for the Volunteers. So each team will now have punted to begin the second half. Chris Callen standing at the seven yard line. That's Josh Stapleton, number 84 back deep and catches it at the 39. Going sideline, 43-yard line. Rather rudely hit out of bounds at the 43. A Chris Cowan 41-yard punt. And the best field position to start a driver, Bowie, in quite some time. They started in the first quarter from the 48 and the 41. Just underway, four minutes deep into the second half. 21-0, Sam Houston on top. And the Volunteers will send a receiver on either side. Play action, Matner looking, fires it out on the flat, and no one there. Musgrove, about eight yards in front of the ball. Matner trying to buy a little extra time. Musgrove actually his second or third receiver. He was looking down the field. And that play covered well. Tried to check off to Musgrove and over tossed him. Jonathan Horton in number five. As far as a leading receiver this year for the Volunteers is Jeff Gaspard. 12 catches for 134 yards. And Jeremy Falk takes it out over the 45. And they'll give him the 47 yard line. Missed last week's game with Duncanville. It'll bring up third. And about five. 
from the 47 yard line. And Jeff Gaspard goes wide left, number four. Matner, play action, looking right side, and LeGrand and Ben Stevens were going out for it. It fell between both of them. Ben Stevens, number 88. Six three two seventy five won the state championship with a two hundred seventy pound division last February in Houston at the Texas Interscholastic Wrestling Association meet. And Madner had him open after he faked a quick pitch left just over through Stevens. And Wall has to pull it in now heaves it up for grabs and a penalty marker dropped. It's intercepted a midfield. This is a Rod Taylor. And hold everything as a penalty marker dropped back at midfield. If it's against Bowie, it's a touchdown. His second for Rod Taylor, the second interception. Most likely, John, an eligible receiver downfield after another problem in the snap back to wall. Rod Taylor picked it off at the 50 and takes it back, and the touchdown will stand. Every turn by Rod Taylor. It's the second time Wall has had to throw it up for grabs. The second interception tonight for Rod Taylor. And a nifty 50 yard run through traffic with. As you saw, the Aaron Wall effort had to bring it down, just threw it up, hoping something blue would run under it. This one kisses off the right upright, and the extra point is missed. And the score goes 27 nothing with 7.14 left in the third quarter. Yeah, Rod Taylor is all over the place tonight. A pretty eventful night for that gentleman, Aaron Wall. Punted seven times. Tried to punt that seventh time, but never got it off. Rod Taylor, a receiver, a defensive back. 27 0 Sam Houston. First game played between these two teams back in 1976. And the Texans won that initial game 37 to nothing. Jonathan Horton, middle deep for the Volunteers. El Ken Ozzie knows how the Volunteers feel in 1995. Sam went 0-10. They did not win a game three years ago. But so they can kind of empathize what the volunteers are going through this year. They can, but at the same time, he is hoping that the Texans are turning the corner tonight. With the, the competition coming up in the next three weeks, he knows that this Sam Houston team will have to be sharp offensively and defensively to have any chance of making the playoffs. They could go five and two if they went out. Danny Hammonds kicks it off, and this one goes 70 yards. Another non-returnable kickoff. Most offensive points this year for the Texans. The 33 they got against Arlington last week. off in scrimmages from the 20. Mario Musgrove along the left side. There's Martinez and number 92. Gain of about a yard. Musgrove last week. 
as you saw the first play of the game against DeSoto stepped off 52 yards. He finished with 50 yards on 11 carries. Matner pounded, throws, tried to get it to Ben Stevens who lost his footing at the 40. Tough play for Matner as he rolled to his right and as a left-hander, a little bit of a problem going across his body. Again, trying to spot Stevens. If they ever do get it into the hands of Stevens, I'd like to see <laughs> the contact that waits ahead. Matner 0 for 6 and a pickoff. John, I'd like to just see a quick hitter to him, maybe a, a little tight end pop pass over the middle. Most of his patterns have been down the field. Third and eight. Crisscross handoff and nothing going. And it'll bring up fourth down. So Aaron Wall trots out for another chance. Back deep for Sam Houston standing near midfield is Ronaldo Campbell. It's blocked. Wall has it stuffed. And Sam Houston will take over at about the 12-yard line and wall the worst of it. Yeah, he's hurt, John. Is that ball went nowhere. It just stuck in the gut of one of the Sam Houston players around the left end. No one touched the uh, Texan as he got in there. We'll try to see who it might have been, but wall's up. Could have and been. Trainer Roy Rudwick out. Been very dangerous on his right leg. First and 10, Sam from the Bowie 12-yard line. It's been a bunch of big plays for the Texan team tonight. Wishbone, here's Martinez. Lowers his head and gets to about the seven. It'll bring up second down and near five yards. Five oh seven clock moving in the third. And a new running back. That's Medina. Yeah. Tito Medina. The linebacker. <laughs> he gets a carry. Tito Medina. All the carry. Why not? Third and four. Third and four for Sam Houston. Here's a toss. That's Medina again. Trying to get to the six yard line. They'll give him the six and a half. Danny Schwab in there, among a couple of other volunteers. Time out taken with the Texans facing a fourth and four. We step aside. It's Sam 27, Bowie nothing. It's not a national emergency. It's a neighborhood fire. For the families who lost their homes, it's a major disaster. What does the Red Cross do in a situation like this? We're here to help the families. We give them food and blankets and we provide shelter. I was with the families last night and thank goodness they didn't lose their lives. But in so many ways, they did. When people think of the Red Cross, they think of hurricanes and blood drives. But there's so much more. The Red Cross is always involved in the community. It's neighbor helping neighbor. Who pays for all of this to happen? We help people, people help us. 
first to respond with care and relief. Count on the Red Cross to be there for your family. But we're not a government agency. We rely on you. Call the Red Cross because... Mark Sullivan is out to attempt a 24-yard field goal angled to the right. Mark Sullivan has hit one from 22 this year. And this one splits the uprights from 24, his longest field goal of the year. Mark Sullivan knocks it home from 24 yards, and it's 30 nothing. So seeing Houston with 30 points, now to within three of their output last week against Arlington High at home. Sam Houston very much in control of this game as you look at uh, senior putter Aaron Wall for the Volunteers. It's been a frustrating night for that young man. He's been intercepted and Kenny Matner has been picked off. Sam Houston came in averaging 20. The Volunteers came in giving up. 28 a contest. Well, everybody for Sam Houston that suited up tonight just might play before this one's over. There's a kick team. Mike Stigler in, number 84. Brandon Spears, number 23. And Danny Hammonds will kick off. Short five yard scoring drive and four plays capped off by the Mark Sullivan three pointer. They've gone 90 yards tonight and they've gone five. The ball goes off of the tee. So what do you do, Jim, with the uh, turf that they'll dispose of next summer? Do you cut it up? And Get a little piece of Maverick Stadium history. <laughs> I don't know what the athletic department has in store for it, if they will uh, try to sell the squares or not. I don't know. I, I, I doubt that will happen. Do you need any carpet at your house? You can buy a piece of AISD history. <laughs> I'd like to have that big UTA right in the middle. I'd like to put it in my garage. Well, you might get your chance. Danny Hammonds, and this one is returnable. And here is the fake handoff. Jonathan Horton keeps it and is buckled at about the 13-yard line. And he thinks the late hit is in order. A 14-yard return. You see the field go by Sullivan. Oh, it didn't make it by a whole lot, but yeah, it just got over. Oh, that's the kickoff, I'm sorry. And uh, there's the fake, the reverse. Didn't fake the Texans. But squeezing through for a few extra yards. Jeremy Fox may have gotten to the 15-yard line. Well, we know what Sullivan's range is this year. That didn't make it by much. Second and about nine. Jeff Gaspard wide left. Stapleton to the right side. Intended for Stapleton. And broken up by that man again, Rod Taylor, as a nose for the ball. Quick slant intended for Stapleton. And Taylor from the strong safety, cheating up towards the line of scrimmage, just got in the passing lane, and he may have been off for a second touchdown had he held on to it. Nathan the vault in, number 83, on third and nine. I think he knew that as, as well. Handoff fought. And loses a yard. He ran in the back of Daniel Ford, number 70. Couldn't get away from him. 
And the volunteer punt team on. 2.46 to go in the third. It's fourth and 10. Aaron Wall standing at the two. Yeah, the 1975 volunteer team, the first varsity season ever. Did not win a game. Caught at the 46 into the 45 yard line goes Ronaldo Campbell. A 33 yard punt. And Aaron Wall is getting tired. Seven punts and an average of 33 yards. Sam has spent a lot of time in Bowie territory, and had it not been for the three penalties on one possession, they would have spent even more time there, and they start in volunteer territory again. Hassel, high formation, double fake, rolls out, throws on the run, and caught at the 20-yard line. That's Ronaldo Campbell. And a completion for Brandon Hassel. Nice rollout to the right by Hassel. Right on the fingertips. Nice haul in here. And ground level view of it. See good blocking. Nice protection for Hassel. Has his arm ready to pass the football when he needs to unload it and really climbs up to haul that one in. Only a second completion. They spot the ball at the 18 yard line. Sardonia Mitchell inside the 15 and taken down by Josh Thicklin. Hassel now two of seven for 23 yards. Second and five for the same Houston offense. E.K. Bird wide right, Mark Clayton to the left side. Sardani Mitchell also out in that right area. Hassel, crossing pattern at the goal line intended for Clayton. Nice play by Jared Gaspard to break it up. Clayton had his hands on it. Gaspard there to break his arm over Clayton's prevent the touchdown. So it's third and five. And again, there has been no rain since that 45 minute delay. We can see DFW and the Jets are taking off. So they get this one in rain free from the 12. From the spread, Hassel. He'll give on the draw play. So Donya Mitchell thrown down at about the six. And that will be a first down. Slung around by Nathan Horton. Mitchell with the carry. Horton providing another couple of yards for Mitchell. Nathan Horton. With it's down. a first and goal for Sam Houston at the seven yard line. There you see the time left in period number three. First and goal Texans. Eric Clarkson, number 88 wide right. Sardania Mitchell evades one, still on his feet, evades two tackles and takes one with him to the three yard line. Boy, excellent balance and then showing his power, almost loses it for loss of yardage, regains his footing and then when he gets close to a volunteer defender, he just lowers his shoulder and gains another couple of yards. He got four yards, though could have Brandon Lawson with a tackle. It's second and goal with 13 seconds left in the third period. Wishbone from the four yard line, a handoff and over the double strike. Alex Martinez with his third touchdown run. Alex Martinez has scored three times and on the year his eighth TD. Has 54 points on the year. Came in tied for fifth in the district. He'll move up a few spots in that category. 
And the extra point attempt by Mark Sullivan is good with two seconds left in the third. The Texans could have used some of these points against DeSoto a couple of weeks ago. 